where are you looking at, you know, the world of rugby, a global sport, and saying it could probably develop for the good of the rugby there? Contact between these tier two nations, we'll just simplify it. It's not a great term, but these kind of South American nations and the, the major nations. And the again, without going too technical for the people listening to the rugby, they've just announced a new tournament. Because what's important, these countries need to play regular rugby against the top level so they can improve. It's just tough. They'll lose a lot, but to get that contact to measure themselves. And they also need to play meaningful tournaments. And rugby's got a problem with having meaningful fixtures for these teams between World Cups. And unfortunately, they've just announced a world league they've been talking about for years which effectively is going to lock a lot of these teams out until about 2032 and it's going to mean that the likes of portugal and chile now are going to have less contact with the top nations not more contact and without going into all the details it's obviously it's a big commercial reason for that with the top countries or to effectively i think close and shop a bit which has always been rugby's problem it's again as a historian i can tell you what used to be world rugby it used to be called the international world that would actively stop the growth of the game. I'm not even exaggerating on that. And I think there's still that element of gatekeeping with rugby's problem with money. So for me, they need to make have these countries have meaningful competitions for themselves, which they can market in their countries. Because, you know, you lead about one of the reasons Portugal did so well at this World Cup was people, a lot of the players, several players from this team saw them in the 2007 World Cup, their only ever appearance, and took up rugby. And I liked, I think this, there'll be loads of kids now. Portugal were fantastic and there will be loads of kids joining rugby clubs now right this month after last month world rugby needs to find ways to just give them regular international competition 